Hi, everybody. Um, just a couple of quick things here. Thank you for taking this journey with me. And just for all of you who don't know this, this journey is really about love. And you're going to find out that those loved ones that have left this physical plane, uh, that connection of love is a continuation. So it's important to know that. Now, uh, just real quick here, I tend to get names. And I tell people, don't just listen to people's names that are dead people, because they are often identified by living people that are connected to them. Uh, and I tend to get things really, really quick. If you think it's for you, it's better to say something as opposed to not to say something, because you never know. Because I could be over here, and I could hear it at the same time. And what happens is that people on this side will push the people away on that side and sort of like come back and forth. So that's all you kind of like need to know here. Um, I'm over here really, really strong here, and I'm double crossed, so I have to double. Somebody here lost a brother. Who's Michael? Is that connected to you, or am I over here? It's not me, I don't think. Okay. It's very strong, Michael. It's Michael, Matt, Mark. I tend to hear those names alike. I'm going to let set with it. Yes, and that's to, and that's who, please? Brother. Is that your brother also? Yes. Yes. You see how your brother brought his brother in? You see how the connection works? And I want you to remember that, because that's often the way they come through. So uh, it's interesting. His brother's a little pushier than yours, but I'm going to be right back with you in a minute. Now, uh, is there another one of you guys in the family besides you and your brother? No. There's just the two of you? Yeah. OK. Do you know if your mother lost a child at birth? Not that I know of, no. OK. Because they're definitely telling me somebody at birth passed. Uh -huh. Now, i got to double check here. Is that with you, please? Yeah. You see how they've crossed mm -hmm. me back and forth? Mm -hmm. <laughs> OK. Uh, but <laughs> I'm going to make poor David crazy. Yeah. All right. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to let set with you for a moment. Then. Now, the, so th and that's the baby at birth? Not at birth, but uh, relatively close to birth. Okay. Is that the same brother or is that someone else? No, that's someone else. It is someone else. Yes. Thank you. Because that's just the way that they're letting me know here. Right. You understand? Now, your mom is still here? Yes, she yes, is. Yes, her mom's passed. That's correct. Yes. She's coming with your brother. Right. Okay. You and your brother are very close, he tells me. Yes? He said he was the better looking, cuter one, though. <laughs> he's being I don't clear, know about that. He's being a clear smart ass, isn't he? Yes. Um, now, I have to ask you this, but it was also a fast passing? Yeah. Yes. Uh, not illness, from what I'm gathering. He said, boom, I was out of here. He shows me the upper part of his body. I'm here up. Right, yeah. I'm here up. Yeah, yeah. And he says to me, Do you need to know that you were not there at the time. You need to know there was no pain actually with his passing, although there was questions about that. You do understand? Yes. I feel there's a lot of questions. Yes. That's what he's telling me. And he says, the only thing you need to question is my connection of love with you. All right? Now, I also wanted to ask you this, please. Is your mom's mom, is she religious? No. Okay. I wouldn't say so. Why am I seeing a cross? I know why. Okay, as long as you know, that's all that matters, all right? But that's how your brother's showing it to me, and he said you would know that quite literally. Do you understand? Yes. Now, there's somebody in the family, quite literally, that has a rose garden. My mom? Okay, that's how he's letting me know he's connected to your mom. Do you understand? Now, he said this has been very hard on the family. He was very central, very central from what I'm gathering. Uh, but he considers himself quite popular with his passing. Uh, explain. He said lots popular. of people came. Oh, yes. Lots of people came from all over. Yes. And they must have, where they either had what I call the eulogy or the congregation. He said there were lots of photos. He shows me lots of photos. Um, in books. In books, okay. Yeah. And, and that comes as quite important. Right. Now, I want to ask, I want to say one other quick thing here to you. Uh, now, your brother passed before your father? Correct. Yes, because your father, I want you to know, your brother was there to bring your father uh, over, and that comes as quite important. You do understand. Your brother is well aware of the difficulty this has been within the family of his passing, but you need to know about your deep connection. I know you know that, but he really wants you to know that because it comes in quite strong. And I know it has definitely dispersed your life in a lot of different ways, but you need to know that he's always with you. The only thing that's not here is just his body, but his heart and spirit is with you all the time. Okay? Now, I think that this might be your father. Um, what did he, was he in the service? <laughs> no. Okay. Who, who my, would, my grandfather was. Was that his father? Yes. Because he comes wearing full uniform. And I would say quite proud. Yeah. Do you do understand? Yes. Yes. And it's interesting. He must have had stripes down the sides of his legs. I'm not sure. You, no. You'll double check because yeah. you'll sort of like see it from what I'm gathering. Okay. Now, is your mom still back in your homeland? Yes. Yes. Um, are you about to see her? Um, no. Did I, you just see her? I, yes. Yes, because your father was well aware of that. And that trip was quite important. It was a very important thing. You do understand. And he says that in the Rose Garden... Mother has something connected to your dad and your brother. There's, there's a definite honoring there. Yes. Now, I don't know if this is the grandfather again, mm. but somebody got what I call ribbons or awards or honors. 
My granddad? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. And he, again, comes quite proud with them. Right. Definitely quite proud with them. You do understand. They were stolen. <laughs> oh, wow. So maybe that's why. Wow, interesting. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, but he says you know what he did. <laughs> so that comes as quite quite important. You do understand. And I also want to say this, this is coming back here again, separate from her grandfather. Um, who kept a journal? I'm not sure. I'm feeling like somebody kept a journal. And I want to say in the journal, the writing was done very eloquently, almost like I don't want to say calligraphy, yeah. but almost like calligraphy. It could be my other grandfather. Is that on Mama's side yes. then? Yes. Yes. Now, it, what, did he pass before your father's died? Uh, y yes. There's yeah. a distance, and one has a J or a G name. I mean, the John, Joseph, or George, because I hear those names alike. Although James was your brother. No, James is my father. James is your father. Yeah. Now, I, I could be hearing that name, but I'm also hearing a double J sounding name. So it means to me somebody else has that name? My, my grandfather was Dutch. He was Johannes. Ah, J. J. O. That's why yeah. I hear it. So that's mama's mo dad. That's right. He must have been one with the calligraphy because yeah. that's how I'm hearing it. That's right. Yes. Yeah. So was he also from South Africa then? Yes, he was. Ah, got it. Makes a bit of sense here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, it's interesting because he also has a uniform. Well, he could have, but I don't think it's military. Do you know if that had to be something he was? It was, it, that he, was he used to work on the um, on the, uh, the the he was at the a station master. Oh. And they used to uh, wear uh, the, 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 the yes. uniform. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. Mm. And, and it's interesting because it comes with pins on the front of it. Right. Yeah. 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 And he said you would have photos of that. Yeah. Yes. Very much so. And he has his hair very neat like you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very 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 important. Um, now. So, you still have, the, the, your, your mom, the rest, they're still in your homeland? Yes. Yes. And is that where your father and brother were when they passed? Yes. Okay. You were there as well? Yes, I okay. was. Okay. So, you've since moved? Correct. Got it. But your brother says you still keep an eye on your mom? Very important. Very important. You do understand. Um, how does that feel to uh, uh, get some information from your brother? It's um, it's overwhelming, you know. It's uh, it's just uh, I, it's something that I think people should uh, experience for themselves, and uh, it's a very deeply moving and uh, and uh, wonderful experience. It's got to be comforting, though. I mean, knowing that uh, you're getting these messages from from the other side. I, I don't think I ever. Uh, came here to to get any kind of uh, you know for someone to tell me that the other side exists and, and they're okay that is always something that I've believed yeah. so that's not what I'm looking for I'm just looking for uh, just a little bit of connection well they're, they're showing up for you, you they, they know that you believe Suzanne is there anything else that you would like to share with us at, the, at this moment um, I think always the most important thing is you know that and you know that they're, they're in our heart they're always in our heart and that um, in that 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 continuum is the continuing but I want to say this because I think it applies to everybody in a lot of ways but certainly to some of the things here is that your loved ones they may not be able to walk your path um, but they can help you walk it and those folks that have passed over are not focused on the way you are or where we are here about death they know you want to know that and they want you to be able to heal yourself in that process and I think that that's the most important thing and um, I always sort of say you know keep in mind that the word courage lies in the base of the heart and that nothing not even death separates us from love